We know that mental health is a really diverse topic. Um, it's one of the reasons those of us who work in mental health are so passionate about it because no day is ever the same and no person experiences things exactly the same either, which can make it really difficult when you're the one experiencing it, because how do you know if what you're experiencing is normal or if it's something you should be concerned about? If you're concerned about it, how do you know what level of care you should be looking for? So I just want to highlight a couple of key things that you can look out for in yourself or your loved ones to understand if you may be struggling and if you perhaps need some further assistance. One of the biggest things to look out for is changes. So you're looking for changes in your life, things like your eating patterns, your sleeping patterns, and your moods. So if you're normally a person who wakes up quite easily at 5 a.m., tackles their day head on, but you find yourself struggling and you're struggling to wake up in a good mood or you're struggling to wake up easily, then that's something that should be a flag for you to understand that that's a change that has gone on in your life and to look into what might have contributed to it. Obviously, there will be days that you can find a reason for it, but if you're finding that there is no logical reason or explanation you can find for what's causing those changes, it may be worthwhile looking into other options for help. We're looking at things like your relationships. Um, how are your relationships changing? Um, are they solid? Are they struggling? Um, are you growing in your relationships? If you're changing the way you're communicating and sharing with your loved ones, you should look at why that is. Are you perhaps hiding something from them? Are you worried that there's something they may notice that is difficult? And if the people around you are pulling back from you, you should look at why that may be as well and reach out to see if there's something that you can help them with. Another thing you can look at is your emotions. So if you're feeling different emotions to normal um, and how you're reacting to those emotions is really important. So if you're the kind of person who feels sad and then takes a long walk with your pets in the sunshine and comes back and feels a bit better, but that's no longer working for you. Um, you can explore different options to see how you can help yourself feel better. And if they're not working, then look at what else is available for you to get help. The other thing we need to just look at is how we are processing our functionality and how we're processing the demands of our day. So how is your workload going? Are you coping at work? Are you struggling? Um, are you coping with your demands in your everyday life at home as well? And if you're struggling to manage those things and you're struggling to find the time to do it or to complete it well, um, then you really should try to understand what might be contributing to that. Basically understanding if you're experiencing a mental health issue is a lot of self-awareness and a lot of self-reflection. So you're the first person who understands if something's going on. And second to that is normally the people closest to you. So if you're finding that things are not feeling normal for you, that you find that you're struggling with it, um, take a look and see if there's something that can change that's in your control and whether that may help. And if not, then look at reaching out for something more. There's no shame in reaching out for help. Uh, you can even reach out for help before you need it, just to keep yourself on the mental wellness track to keep yourself functioning as well as possible and being the best version of you.